Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Melissa and if you've been around before, welcome back. Thanks for coming around. So for today's video, it is mighty late, but I am doing my July BoxyCharm unboxing. I just got myself a new camera. I'm so excited to not be filming on my iPhone anymore. So let's dive into this month's BoxyCharm unboxing. So we're gonna start with the base box here. So let's open her up. I have had these for quite a while. I've just been procrastinating getting this new camera set up. So this is, ooh, fantasy. That's really cute. Okay, so first thing in the box, ooh, a detox hair serum. Oops, phone's not on silent. Detox hair serum, nutrient plant scalp treatment by the Lifestyle Company of Los Angeles. Okay. Let's check this out. Okay, nice dropper bottle. See what it smells like. Actually has no fragrance whatsoever. It smells like nothing, it smells like water. Okay, so let's have a look at that. As always, these boxes are in US dollars. Ooh, 79 US dollars. Nourish and balance the scalp and hair with this hydrating elixir made from nutrient dense plant oils such as argan and almond oils. This plant-based formula stimulates and soothes a dry and itchy scalp, promotes healthy growth, and leaves your hair shiny and soft. Well, definitely gonna try that next time I wash my hair. Next thing I see is Mud Masky. Oh, I like this. Vitamin infused eye serum moisture boost. Vitamin boost, feeding, nourishing, firming. Okay, that's pretty cute. I like the packaging. So it is specifically formulated for the thin and sensitive skin under your eyes. Okay, that's pretty big for an eye serum. So that retails for 63 US dollars, wow. Next thing, what is this? Pen Pal, four in one makeup pen, Make a Mauve by Ali. Oh, I see, okay. So can you guys see those four shades there? I think this looks like, do you remember in like grade school you'd have those pens that you'd click and they'd have the multi-colors? Yeah, that's exactly it. So there we go. So is this eyeliner? I don't know. Um, yep. Eyeliner in black, highlighter in champagne, lip pencil in mauve, and brow pencil in coffee brown. That's all in one, guys. Let's take a swatch of these. So let's try the eyeliner in black. Ooh, feels kind of harsh. Okay, there we go. Then highlighter in champagne. Like, do I get it? Like, there's, no, there's, there's nothing there. It's like broken. Okay, well, no highlighter. Lip liner in mauve, that one's broken too. Okay, something's not, I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. It twists. And now I've just broken it. There we go, okay. Let's get this highlighter back. Am I twisting it the right way? Oh my gosh, okay. Let's try that again. Ooh. That's pretty, there's the highlighter there. That's really pretty. Now the lip liner in mauve. You gotta twist it to get the product. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful mauve color for a lip liner. And then brow in coffee brown. This will be a little too dark for me, but great for doing an ombre brow. There we go. That is super cute. I, you know what, I could use all of these shades. Let's try the black again, because I didn't uh, I didn't twist it up. The product was already there. That's better. There we go. That's so much better. That was totally user error, my fault. There. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, I really like that actually. And that is by Ali Oop. Okay. So that is oh, that's not bad. 25 US dollars. So for four products, that's actually really good. I like that. Next thing I see is Bella Pierre Liquid Eyeliner in Black. I'm not gonna open this. We all know what black eyeliner looks like. Um, I think this is an inexpensive brand. I'm not sure. I, I've received some of this brand before. 
in other boxes and I haven't been too satisfied with it. 20 US dollars. So it says it's got a flexible tapered tip. Okay, well, I personally think Bella Pierre is an inexpensive brand. Um, like I said, I've had other products with uh, BoxyCharm and even I think maybe an Ipsy that had Bella Pierre, like a lot of lip products and I really didn't like them. So last but not least, we have Hydrating Complexion Trio by Alomar Cosmetics. Okay, let's give this a look. Oh, I might even be able to use these shades. There we go. Okay, so this one's called I'm Woke, which it looks like a banana powder. This one is Saltera. Yeah, so this is a bronzer. And then Always Summer. There we go. So that would be your... Um, Oh my gosh, I just, just lost the word. Uh, so a banana powder for brightening, a bronzer for sculpting, and um, contour. There we go, contour shade. Okay, these colors actually might work for me. They don't look too bad, but that's super cute. I like this little palette, and I do like Alomar Cosmetics. So let's see the value. Sorry, phone's still not on silent. The value on that is 25 US dollars, so that's actually not too bad, okay. So all in, let's add up the value of the base box and put my phone on silent. Okay, so the value of the base box, we've got 25 for the LMR Cosmetics, 79 for the Hair Detox, 63 for the Eye Serum, 25 for the 4-in-1 Pen, and 20 for the eyeliner, so $212 for the base box, that's actually really good. I mean, I'm assuming this is the base box because it's the smaller box. Yeah, doesn't say, okay. Let's move on to the Boxy Premium. Let me move that out of the way. So Boxy Premium here, here we go. Now, if you aren't familiar with BoxyCharm, it is a mystery box every month. Um, so the base box that I just opened is 25 US dollars a month. So for us Canadians, they do add $5 flat shipping, so it's 30 US dollars a month. The premium box, which is the next, sorry guys, the next level up, that one retails for I think 35 and then $5, or it could be 40 and then $5 flat rate shipping. Um, so you can get these boxes every month. If you want to start, you would start with the base box, and then once you've had the base box for a little while and you qualify for the premium, you can cancel the base box, or you can continue and get both like I do. Then there's a third option called Boxy Lux, and that comes out four times a year every three months, or is it three times a year every four months? I never remember, but you get that one a few times a year. It's a little bit more expensive. I think that box is 50 US dollars uh, when that comes out. We just had it not too long ago. I can't remember if it was June, June or July. No, this is July. So May or June, we, we had Boxy Lux. Uh, I'm just looking. Yeah, I, I don't have the box sitting around. I think it might've been June that we had Boxy Lux. And every box is guaranteed a certain amount of full-size products and up to a certain amount of dollar value. Just keep in mind that all of these values are in US dollars. So, if you ask me, I think these boxes are a fantastic deal. Oh yes! Okay, this month the box is taken over by ABH. Oh, I'm so excited! So this month's premium is uh, with Norvina Anastasia Beverly Hills. So that's super exciting, guys. So that means the whole box will be ABH products. Like, I'm really excited. I don't have a lot of ABH products. And um, funny enough, I just bought the Amrezy palette, um, which I actually have, so you can see in the corner of my eyes here a little bit, I have the shade, uh, actually I'm gonna have to open it up because now I can't remember what shade it was. But I do have to return it because it came broken. Like, I waited so long to get this palette. And look at the blue. Oh, you guys can't see. It came all smashed. So I have to return it uh, back to Sephora. I did get it mailed to me. So the shade I have in the inner corner is Reezy. Okay, that's what I thought. 
So just as an inner corner highlight today, I went with that hot pink Reezy shade. Let me try to hold this up so it doesn't fall out again. This is what I use for the inner corner shade today, Reezy. Beautiful, beautiful hot pink. But I do have to return the palette and exchange it for a new one because that beautiful blue is smashed. And I did get uh, in that box as well, I did get the Glowish uh, Tint by Huda, Multi Dew Skin Tint in the shade 04 Light Medium. And I got the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation in 180. I have no idea if either of those are my colors, so I did get a whole bunch of other stuff too. Um, but I have to test those out, and if they're not my shades, which knowing my luck, they're probably not, I'm gonna have to exchange those as well. So I'm just gonna wait till I open those two and then uh, see what I have to do with Sephora. Um, anybody else buy from Sephora and like never get your shade right? I, I don't wear foundation very often. I'm more of a BB or a, a skin tint queen. But from time to time, I do want to wear a foundation, and I just can't seem to shade match myself to save my life. Even when I go in store, I have such a hard time. So um, lockdown here in Ontario just lifted recently, so I'm able to actually go into a Sephora now, but I haven't been in a Sephora in over a year and a half. So all my orders have been online. So I've got a whole bunch of foundations sitting back there in these Alex drawers that was definitely the wrong shade that I have to exchange and I'm hoping they'll keep their promise and let me exchange them in store. Anyways, let's get back to this exciting box. So the first thing I see, this makes me so excited, the dewy set, oh my gosh, I am spraying it right now, I don't care. I already do have setting spray on from earlier today when I did this quick five minute look. This bottle just makes me so happy. I love the aesthetic. Now, the setting spray in here is not sparkly. It's just the bottle. But I love the container. I love the look. I love the, the gold shimmers. I love the white lid, uh, the white font. I think it's really classy. So let's open her up. And the smell is fabulous it, it smells so freaking good I'm gonna lock that and put it back in place we will put that with the rest of my setting sprays so that my dears retails for 26 US dollars oh next thing I see the loose setting powder so let's open that up and it is in the shade translucent thank goodness so this is a really nice big container I think it's three Oh, sorry, 0.9 ounce. I was going to say 0 0.3. 0 0.9 ounce. So we've got a nice sifter. I'm not going to open it because knowing my luck, it'll just shoot everywhere. Um, so it's got a nice sifter in there. And uh, it's translucent. So that's perfect for everybody. So I've heard very good things about this setting powder. I really don't have a lot of uh, Anastasia products. So the loose setting powder retails for 38 US dollars. Ooh. Uh, a loose highlighter which retails for 25 US dollars. We got the color Vegas. So let's open this up. I'm excited. I love highlighters. Oh, this is so pretty. You guys look at the lid. I love the lid right off the bat. I am opening this one up. Let me get some tweezers here. Okay, let's pull this protective sticker off okay I just ripped the sticker oh my gosh that's not good you guys I want in here so bad hello there we go oh my gosh I'm riding the struggle bus today okay there we go oh it's beautiful it's too dark for me but you know what I can use it, I can make it work. Let's put a little out in the cap. <gasps> okay, I know you guys can't see what just happened. Yes, I'm looking in my viewfinder, make sure I'm still recording. That just happened. Oh my goodness, now I have freaking loose highlighter. Okay, well now you can see the color. It's beautiful gold. Oh my gosh. This, um, this new camera setup I don't have as much screen. Okay, well, how am I gonna do this? I don't have as much screen as I did on my iPhone. So I'm hoping that everything I've been showing you guys has been in frame. Hello, 
Miss Tennessee. Hello, Miss Tennessee. What are you doing, puppy? Oh, thank you. Okay, so I managed to get it all back in. So there's a better look at it there. I think, yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit in the cap there. It's gold. Um, like I said, it is too dark for my skin tone, but I can use it for other things. I think it's beautiful. Let's try to get a little bit out and do a swatch. Need a little bit more than that. There we go. Can you guys see that? I think my beauty lights are washing everything out. Now I have to go and uh, reset all my beauty lights. Let's see. It's a beautiful gold. Like I can wear it. It is just a little bit dark for my skin, but I don't care. It's ABH. Hello. Oh, I love that. And what did I say that was 25 bucks? Yeah, 25 US dollars. Okay. Next we have Ooh, the brow definer triangular brow pencil in the shade soft brown perfect that'll work for me so the brow definer retails for 23 us dollars now i'm not going to convert any of these prices into canadian because we all know that changes from day to day pretty much from hour to hour but the benefit which is my my go-to all the benefit pencils are 32 to 35 canadian so this being 23, I can imagine it's up in the $30 price range for sure. So I'm assuming it's got a spoolie. Yes, it's got a spoolie on one end. And then we've got the triangular shape, which is similar to the goof proof, which is what I use. So I'm going to do a swatch to make sure the color is okay. It's actually really hard. So let's warm it up a little bit. Okay. So that is going to be too dark. But if I go in with a light hand... I can definitely make that shade work. I can make that part. This I can use for an ombre brow. Um, this shade I can use with a really light hand. That'll be perfect. So soft brown is a little bit too deep for me. That's interesting. Because I believe I'm soft brown or, or three in all of the Benefit products. Oh, we got a brush. Okay, this is a pro brush, a domed kabuki brush. I don't have any Anastasia brushes, so this is amazing. So cute, very nice, very nice. Oh my gosh, you guys. This brush is so soft. Oh, I'm a sucker for a soft brush. I don't care what brand it is, it's just gotta be soft. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So you know what, this would be great for highlighting. Um, this would be great for blending out your, con I'm gonna use it for blending out concealer. That's what I'm gonna use it for. So the brush, 24 US dollars, I think is very reasonable for a brush that feels this amazing. And I think, last but not least, this should be a palette. Okay, look, I'm excited. This should be a palette. I don't know which one it is. I don't have any of the Norvina palettes. Uh, oh, this is, I believe, the original, the OG. Uh, Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1. Okay, now how do I open this? So this is number one. Okay, well that's really nice. I like all of these palettes. Um, for me to get stuff here in Canada, it's, it's so much more expensive than it is from the US. So I think these palettes retail for about 60 or $65. Uh, so I'm really excited to get one in the BoxyCharm. So let's see which one Volume 1 is because I don't remember... Oh, okay, this is the one with lots of pinks and purples and some pops of color. There we go. So I'm just going to try to, hold, let me slide that off. There we go. So this one is beautiful. I love the purples. I definitely love purples. And I love the pops of color and some neutrals there in the bottom. This is going to be an interesting palette to play with. And you know what my favorite shade is, guys? I've just realized. A5. This hot, hot. Oh my gosh, you can see my desk. Look at that mess everywhere oh my gosh a5 this is perfect i love that shade i'm definitely going to give that a swatch oh and it feels so soft look at that look at that these beauty lights are definitely washing it out i have to reset my lights now now that i've got a different camera set up that is my jam that is my shade oh my gosh it basically matches my lips Oh, I love it. Okay, it's definitely going to stain, that's for sure. 
All right, well, let me put all of this away here and we'll add up the value of the premium box. So let's see. <clears throat> oh, and there's a coupon. Buy one, get one 50% off at abh.com. Well, honestassiebeverlyhills.com. Use code ABHXBOXY. That's nice. So buy one, get one 50% off. Expires August 8th. Sweet. <laughs> Bless me. Woo. Okay. I don't think there's any more. Oh, wait, one more. <laughs> Bless me. Excuse me. Okay, so let me clear my calculator. So the palette, oh sorry, the palette is 60 US dollars. So it is way more here in Canada than it is for the US. Um, so the palette is 60, the loose setting powder is 38, the loose highlighter is 25, the brow definer is 23, the setting spray is 26, and the domed kabuki brush is 24. So the value in the premium box is $196. So even though it came in at a less value point than the base box, it is still worth my money. I will always get these boxes whether I'm doing YouTube or not. Um, if you guys are new here to my channel, I'm a very bad poster. Um, I haven't posted in a while. I have videos filmed. And I'm just horrible at editing. I just find editing so stressful and so hard for me for some reason. So uh, I'm very bad at it, but I'm trying to find time to learn how to do it. So my videos right now are, are really sporadic and intermittent, but I am making it a mission to get on it and, and get into a routine and get videos up a few times a week for you guys um, just to do what I love to do. So makeup is one of my passions. So I'd like to have a beauty video. I'd like to do a cleaning video as well. And then a lifestyle video, more like a vlog. Um, so it could be a fun hike with my dogs. I, I do have four bulldogs. Um, I have mom, dad, and two of the, the babies. Um, it could be a, a hike with my dogs. It could be um, baking something that day. It could be a mishmash of stuff if I went shopping and then went out for lunch. And, you know, it could be totally like anything, right? It could be driving my Chevelle. Um, could be going to the drag races. The lifestyle video vlog sort of idea is kind of up in the air. I don't think that one's going to have a set topic like the beauty and the cleaning i think the lifestyle vlog one is just going to be a whole bunch of different things but that's my plan if that sounds great to you guys please leave me a comment down below letting me know you think that's a really cool idea if you think that's a stupid idea leave me a comment as well letting me know if that's a stupid idea let me know what you guys want to see what you're interested in i am just an average consumer yes i am a makeup artist but I got my credentials just before COVID hit. So I've only actually done makeup on a few people. So I'm still practicing my skills on myself all the time, but I want to slowly take this out there into the field and actually be a makeup artist. So that's something that's coming up for me very shortly as well. Um, my cousin's a photographer, so I'm going to accompany her on shoots and I'm going to be the makeup artist. So I think it's going to be amazing. And I do love beauty. It is, it is a passion of mine for sure. But anyways, guys, I'm rambling because I'm so excited to be back on film here. But that's it for me today, you guys. If you want to see anything, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.